Hello, in this tutorial we'll be looking a little bit more at strings in PHP and we'll also be looking at how to use the string length function in PHP to find out how long a string is or um, how many characters there are in a string. Okay, so to start with we're going to use the string length function. Okay, so um, the string length function is strlen, alright, so string length strlen -E and then in brackets you need to give an argument so you can either place a string inside the brackets within quotation marks or you could put a variable in there if the um, variable contains a string so I'm going to put a string inside these um, brackets and so the argument will be this string and the string is going to be Batman all right for no particular reason all right so we've got string length Batman. Now, at the moment, that's not actually going to do anything. If we load up the page, if we load up this PHP file in the browser, um, we won't really see anything. So what we can do is just echo out um, the string length. All right. Now, there are one, two, three, four, five, six characters. They're all letters. So six characters inside this string. So what we should see is just the number six when we refresh that page. All right, so there we go. We have the number six there. That's how many characters there are in the word Batman or in this string. Um, so that is, in other words, the length of the string. All right, how many characters are in it? All right, what we could also do instead is we could say, um, we could actually put that string inside a variable. So we could create a variable called name and that could be equal to Batman. All right, so um, we've got Batman's name stored inside a variable called name. All right, and so instead of putting the string in here, it's really better to just call on the variable there. All right, so to find out what the length of a string is, it's best to really have that string in the variable and then just put the variable name inside the string length function. And now we can echo that out. So if we refresh, we get the same result there, um, but we've just got that inside a variable now. All right, now um, we know now that there are six characters in this string stored inside name, okay? So we can find that out pretty easily. But each character in a string, each letter, each number, um, symbol, whatever kind of character you have inside a string, each one has um, something called an index, all right? So it's um, represented by an index number in um, that string. So just to explain that a little bit more clearly, we have six letters inside this string. We've got B, A, T, M, A, N. All right. Now this string could be any other word or it could be um, several words. It could be a full sentence. All right. And it could contain numbers or characters like full stops, periods, uh, commas, um, you know, the hashtag, percent sign, anything like that. But every single character inside this string has an index. And in the PHP language, it always starts from zero. So the letter B is represented with the index number zero. A is one, T is two, M is three, um, A is four, and N here is five. Okay, so there are six characters in this string, but because we start counting them from zero, the last uh, character in the string will have an index number of five, not six. Okay, and if it was a full word, then and there were spaces, then the spaces um, would also be treated as a character. So, say for example, there was a space between bat and man. All right, then it would go zero. So B would be zero, A would be one, T would be two. The space would be treated as a character, so that would be three, and then the M would be four, and so on. All right, so the index number would end at six because the space would be treated as a character and it would be included in the length of the string. All right, so here we have a, a six character long string starting with an index number of zero and ending with an index number of five. So just to show that, what we could do is rather than um, echoing out the string length, what we'll do here is we'll echo out dollar sign name and then we can refer to a specific character in the string so, or a, a location in the string using square brackets. 
and then a number. All right, so if we want to find out what the first letter or what the first character is in this string, then we can refer to the first index number, which is zero. All right, so I can save that and I can refresh the page and it says B, all right? Okay, so B is the first letter in this string or this word, but it has an index number of zero. All right, so if I put one, it should show A, okay? If I put two, it should show T, all right? So even though T is the third letter in this string, it's represented with an index number of two because it starts at zero and then goes one, two, three, four, five. All right, so if I put in five, we should get the last letter, N. We do. And if I put anything else in like six, we're going to get an error, okay? Because um, there is no there is no six. Um, it, there is no character with an index of six in that file. Okay. All right, so um, that is basically how strings work. Each character in a string has an index. Um, and we can find the length of a string. And arrays, which we'll be looking at in a later tutorial, work the same way. So items in an array or a list have an index number and arrays or lists have lengths. Okay, um, so the next thing we'll do is, um, we'll just get rid of that. We don't need that code for now. What we've got is the name Batman in a variable called name. And so now, um, We've, we already know how to find the length of that string, but we can also put the result of using the string length function into a variable. So we could have, we could create a new variable called name length, and that could be equal to the result of the string length function on the name variable. All right, so what's happening here is um, we've created a new variable called name length, and in this variable, we're using the string length function to find out how many characters are in this string here. This string, which is in this variable called name. Okay, so we put dollar sign name, the variable in as the argument there. And whatever this, whatever the result is of this function, it will be stored in this variable. Okay, and the result should be six. So, um, because there's six characters in Batman, so name length is gonna be equal to six. Now, what we can actually do is we can spit out each individual character um, one at a time from this string. And we can do that using a for loop. So we can say for, all right, and then in brackets, we can start with a counter. So i, and we'll start from zero. So i equals zero, all right, and the semicolon. And the condition will be while i or if i is um, less than name length. All right, so to start with i is zero. Name length we know is six because there's six characters in the name Batman. So um, while i is less than, while the counter is less than the um, length of the string, which is six, this loop will keep running, okay? And then every time this loop runs, we'll increment by one, okay? So it will start at zero, it will go one, two, three, four, five, um, and it will stop when it gets to the end, the last letter. All right, so this loop is basically going to loop through this string. So each iteration will be a different letter of this string. All right, it stops when it gets to the end of the string or the length of that string. All right, so what we're going to do while this for loop is running, um, we're going to say echo dollar sign name. So we're going to echo um, name, which is Batman. But instead of spitting out Batman every time this loop runs, so instead of saying Batman on the screen for each iteration, we're only going to show the letter in that string um, of where we are in the loop. So to do that, we can use square brackets. And instead of putting in a number, we can put in dollar sign i. All right, and then what we might do is just add a line break there so that uh, each iteration, each result is on a new line. All right, that's it. All right, so just to explain how this works, we've got a string called Batman, and we've got a, that's stored in a variable called name. Then we've got a name length variable, which stores the length of 
the, the name string variable, which is six, okay? Then we've got a for loop. It's set to zero to begin with, the counter. And while that counter is less than the um, name length variable, which is six, so while i is less than six, it will do this, and then each time it will increase i by one. So i will initially be zero. So what it will do is echo out name zero, okay, which is b. All right, then it will make a new line. It will increase by one. So now i is equal to one. It's still less than six. So then we'll echo out name one, which is letter A. Okay, we'll make a new line. Um, I becomes two. Two is still less than six. So then it's gonna do echo name two, which is the T, letter T. Okay, the index number two is T. All right, it's gonna keep doing that. And it would be M, A, N. So each letter is gonna come out on a new line. And then, um, uh, I will no longer be less than six. And so this won't run again. So we'll save and refresh the page. There we go. So we've got B, A, T, M, A, N, each on a new line. Okay. So that's how we can use a for loop to um, go through each of the letters of a string individually. All right. Um, and then later on, when we look at some other different string functions, um, then we can see how that might be handy to use a for loop. Okay, so that's basically how to use the string length function. Um, we've looked at um, the index of a string, so how that kind of works, and we've also used a for loop to go through a string. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next uh, few tutorials, we'll be looking at different types of um, string functions. Thanks for watching.